well this video will instruct you how to make a freestanding pineapple mini flower or flower and we are using template 2 mini flower and the dahlia mini flower template so it's a combo of two different ones so the first thing we're going to do is add um, some inking to our leaves which are going to be the dahlia and then also to our template to mini flower so the two different colors that we're using is peeled paint distress oxide the yellow i'm using is astro brights bright yellow and then this is recollection spice market green and for that one i'm using frayed burlap it's a gray color you can use a darker green um, so take a look at some pineapples so this is just what I had in my stash. So go ahead and use what you have in yours. So to all the petals, you're gonna cut it according to the instruction document. So it's 11, I'm sorry, 22 petals at four inches wide. And for each of these on the front and the back, you're going to add around the edges. Now, if you wanted to, because they do have a lot of green shading, you can do the center as well. So we're just going to go around the edges for some highlights. And if it gets on your petal, that's completely okay. Okay, and then flip it over and do the exact same thing. And again, you're doing this to all 22 petals. So we're making two flowers that will be glued together to create the pineapple base. <laughs> I was gonna say the body of a pineapple, but the base of the pine pineapple. It's super cute for your tiered trays. Um, on a shelf or centerpieces for a dinner party or party. So there you go. So it's just very subtle inking to the edges. And again, just use the greens that you have in your stash. I use Distress Oxide Peeled Paint for my coloring. And then on your leaves, which are your Dahlia templates, we're going to add some coloring on one side, right in the center. And then on each leaf, we're going to go around the edges. Now you may want to wear uh, gloves at this point so it doesn't get all over your fingers. Again, we're going around all the edges, and if you get it on the petal, that's okay, because it'll be some shading to it. Once you have all the styling done, it does go rather quickly to assemble, but oh, the details. Okay, so that's your front. Now we're gonna do the back. Again, you're only coloring, coloring the center on one side. Now what you can do is place it down on your mat or on your, um, yeah, I can't think of the word. <laughs> Your scrap paper, if you wanted to go around the edge and add a little bit more ink. And I, I do do this as well. But just make sure the sides have that the coloring on the sides. So 
and just make sure it's on those sides, which it should be from the other side. So you think of leaves of a pineapple, they are pretty shaded, different shadings of green. Okay, and again, I use frayed burlap. It's what I had in my stash. So that, that was the only green gray that worked with Recollections Green. Okay, so then once you have everything done, that's what they look like. So I have them stacked smallest to largest. And then all your petals. You can move your scratch paper. Now we're going to cut into, this is 11 petals, so I'm going to separate it. You want to pull out five. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm not going to cut into six of them just to make it better for my hand. So we're going to um, cut into the center. You just don't want to cut your petals off. So using your scissors, just go around and you can see they never meet in the center. So you're cutting into the center of all 11 petals. So that's six of them and five of them we kept separate because we're going to use a different size dowel rod for these five. So I'm going to cut into all five at once and be brave. Okay. Now the two different size dowel rods you're going to use is the 5 sixteenths, and that's going to be for our six. And then we're going to use the quarter inch on our five. So I'll take three and two. So this, these are the going to be the very center. So these will be using the quarter inch. So place your dowel rod down in the middle of the petal. Now, if you're new to making smaller flowers, I do recommend just rolling one at a time till you get the hang of it. And then I normally do a maximum of three at once. Thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up and roll. Okay, dowel rod down in the middle, thumb, index finger, holds it in place. Pinch it up and roll. Thumb, index finger, pinch up and roll. It does take a little bit of time to get used to the technique, but once you do it a few times, you really don't even have to look to do it. So because we use a smaller diameter dowel rod, it's going to be much more curled. And that's our center of our flower. So we're going to take the other two and do the exact same technique. We cut into the center because it allows my roll to go deeper in towards the center because this one has a large center. Just from the design of the petals. Okay, so there's our five, and now we're going to use the five sixteenths. I'm, I'm going to take three at a time, which is my max. Place your dowel rod down, thumb on top, index finger underneath, pinch it up, and roll. These have a nice scalloped edge to it to give some texture like a pineapple has. Okay, 
Okay, now we're gonna assemble. So we're gonna take our flower shaping mat and we're gonna take the six of them that are not as curled. So my layer one, two, and three. I'm gonna take a wider metal ball stylus tool on our flower shaping mat, which is a soft foam mat. Roll it up a little, roll just a little because we have 11 layers. Take your glue gun, add some hot glue. So layer one, we're not rolling the center because we're gluing two flowers together. Here's an X, here's a petal. Bring it straight down in between those petals of layer one. Try and stand directly over top of your flower. I like to rotate mine around. Add some glue to the next layer. Here's your X. Bring it straight down and press. Keep rotating it around. We have three more and then we'll work on our other five. Roll the centers. The more we roll, and with a smaller diameter dowel rod, the more their petals are going to lift up. So here's your X. Look for a petal and place it right in between. And press. So again, try and stand directly over top. Keep rotating it so it doesn't get off center. And again, we're rotating it. Add your hot glue. Look at two petals and place it in between. So layers one, three, and five would be lined up. One, three, and five, and then two, four, six. I can count today. Stir that center with your metal ball stylus to make sure that glue really adhered. Okay. Now you have five petals left and now we're going to work from the center out. So we're going to create our center and then once it's all together, glue it inside. So we're going to use the second to smallest metal ball stylus tool. If you do need any of these tools, I do offer them in my Etsy shop in the section paper flower tools. So we are going to roll all of them just so we have them ready to go. Okay. So now we're going to lift it up, place it in front of the petal. Lift it up and place it in front. And they're all falling right into place. Now you're gonna twist the bottom really tight so it almost creates a bud. And it will be scrunched or pushed in that's okay add a bunch of hot glue now looking at one of the side petals place it in between so i usually look at these two and this one and bring it down and hold it there for a second to allow it to dry Then we lift our petals one in front of the other. So right around that center one. Try and keep it as even as possible. Twist it tightly. Get your next one add a bunch of glue so you can see mine's all scrunched in it's okay looking at this petal and these two i'm going to bring it straight down and place it in between and allow it to dry for a moment okay then lift a petal up and place it one in front of the other You can see they just kind of all fall into place. 
press it down and twist. Press it from the bottom to make sure that glue adheres. Try and keep them even as much as possible because we need our pineapple to stand. We have two more. Looking at a petal and these two, I bring it straight down. So you can see that petal is in between those two and hold it there for a moment to allow it to dry. Lift the petals up one in front of the other. So I find it, it is easier to keep them down on your surface, your tabletop. Okay, they lift right up and around, twist it. Make sure it's adhered at the bottom. And one more. So this is five layers. Looking at a petal, place it in between. So again, it's 11 petals per flower. So a total of 22 template two mini flower petals at four inches wide. Now, once you would have the project set up according to the instruction document I have posted at the beginning of the video. It's also available on my PhotoFab Paper Flowers Facebook page in the 2022 photo album, 2022 Crafting Happy Hour Instructions. Ooh, that was a mouthful. So once you have the project set up, then you can resize it to however large, small you want your pineapple. Now we just add hot glue to the bottom. A generous amount. Looking at a petal, I'm going to look at these two, look at this one, and bring it straight down and press it in there. I'm going to get another smaller dowel rod and press it in there to make sure that glue really adheres. Hold it there for a moment. Let it open up. And there you have one flower and number two. So what you do then is we're going to look at our X, we're going to look at a petal, and we're going to glue it right together just to form the shape of our pineapple. So add a generous amount of glue. And we want to keep it as even as possible. Look at those two, look at this one, and bring it straight down. And hold it for a few moments till it dries. Try not to move it too much. Keep it even as possible. So if you saw my large bunny tutorial, we turned it this way and put our ears on. Well, it's a pineapple, so we want it to stand. Now my tabletop isn't too straight. And now your pineapple is standing. So now we're gonna make the greenery that comes out the top. So we're going to and this is why it's important to leave it as straight as possible when you're gluing in those layers because we need it to flat. So like this one wasn't sitting so well, so I just flipped it over. Okay. Now for your um, greenery, we already inked all of them. And with the pineapple, we start from the smallest to the largest, creating it, the greens. So we inked all of our edges, and now we're going to roll them up. So we're going to use the 3 16 style rod. And for the two smallest, we're going to use the 1 8 
and we're going to just roll all the petals up. And we do cut into the center, I'm sorry. And I normally, as I create it, I would do my steps. So I'm going to, I'm going to roll them first. So let's do that first. Each time I make it, I do it a little bit differently. <laughs> so again, you're just placing that dowel rod down and kind of just pinching around it. And the, the two smallest, you use the 1 8 inch dowel rod. And you always want to keep the colored part as our top one. So we're just going to flip it over. That way when we flip our whole stack of petals, then we'll have them. So now we're going to use the 3 16 and roll the rest of them. So by waiting a little bit to do this, we're allowing our pineapple, to, the glue to set as we style our leaves. Sometimes I come in at an angle, sometimes I go straight. Basically, just pinching it up and rolling. Flip it over and again. Oops. I knocked our pineapple over. <laughs> Place your dowel rod down and roll. Thumb, index finger, just like we did. Pinch up and roll. Flip her over. And we're just rolling all the petals up. And the size of the dahlia, <clears throat> excuse me, our smallest width is two and a half inches, going up to five and a half inches. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now for each of them, we're going to oops, cut into the center just very slightly. You don't want to cut the petals off. Just a tiny little cut. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, I'm going to roll my center with a small metal ball stylus tool. Then I'm going to take my bone folder and just basically bend the top back. Okay, so now we're going to take our pineapple. And we're going to start gluing it in. So what we're going to do, you can, if you want, you could add it right along our main edge of our flower. So that inner one, 
or what I like to do is I don't do it in the center I go out around the outside so it, it hits that edge of the flower okay oops I just dropped my dowel rod and then place it right on top there So we're working, which is unusual, is to work from the smallest to the largest. Okay. So that's what it looks like from the side. Now you're gonna take your next one and they're all different sizes, so you have to do them one by one. Cut into the center slightly, just ever so slightly. In between each petal. Roll it on your metal ball stylus with the smallest. Roll it on your flower shaping mat, excuse me with the smallest metal ball stylus. That really lifts your petals up. Bend them back with your bone folder. And you're gonna do this for each one. Now, if you wanted to roll it again, you can. It depends on the order I'm doing it. Every one is different. All right, add your glue. And just like we normally do, here's your X. Look for a petal and place it in between. Now it's a lot harder. Because we're creating this on our pineapple. Now your pineapple should stand. There we go. <laughs> Again, the colored part is on top. Cut slightly in between each petal. Not a super hard flower to make, just a lot of shading. You can bend them back now if you wanted to before you roll it, it doesn't matter. Once you get in your routine of doing it, roll the center with the smallest metal ball stylus on your flower shaping mat. Add your hot glue just to the center so that now that we're assembling it after that first one, you do add it to the center. Look for an X or in between any two petals. Pick a petal to look at and bring it straight down. I know it's harder to see because we're I'm gonna zoom out a little because you have a top angle. Cut in between each petal. You can use your bone folder, bend it back at the tip. I find it to, easier to do it as I create it. And then we roll it with our smallest metal ball stylus. Add your glue just to that center, very center. And again, keep turning your pineapple. Look for two petals and place it in between. Think of the pineapple 
we wanted them to be standing up. So that's why we're cutting into the center of it. Now my mat is not flat. <laughs> why won't you stand all of a sudden? There we go. I'm just going to continue with the process. See your pineapple starting to grow. She is so fun. Now if only would stand on my mat. I need that right there in the center. I have a hill right here. <laughs> We're cutting into the center in between each petal. And we're going to do this a few more times. We're almost there. Bend her back at the tips using your bone folder. Roll your center. Now what you can do is fold them up and it doesn't have to be like have it random. Almost like a succulent. Add glue to your center and just keep rotating it around how you randomly glue them in there. Press it down to make sure it adheres. And you can see it's really starting to take shape. Oh my goodness, so cute. Two more friends. All right, cut into the center. Just don't cut your petals off. <laughs> well, if you do, just glue it back on it. I mean, it wouldn't be the first time I did it. Use your bone folder, bend them back. Okay, roll your center on your flower shaping mat. You can use the two smallest ends. So again, just gather them in there, but make them random, especially as we're getting to the end here or for that last one. Add your hot glue. Let's see where it needs filling in. I just kind of randomly put these in now. Press down in the center. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh wait, which, where is it even? Right there. <laughs> nope. There. Between 20 and 23 is a flat surface. Cut into the center. One last one. In between each petal. Okay. Then we roll the center. Oh, we forgot to bend them back. Oh my goodness. Bend them back. Okay. 
Again, just gather them however they want to fall. I like to make sure it's random. Like, not in order like we did our regular petals. Press it in there. Make sure it dries. And there you have your pineapple. So that's what it looks like from the side, from the top. 23. I need my flat surface, which it doesn't want to find. I promise you it stands. <laughs> I have made two others, or yeah, so I now have a total of three. So, won't these be super cute for a centerpiece for our party? You can add more to the tops glue extra pieces along the bottom totally up to you how you do it so thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the pineapple tutorial have a great night or day or afternoon mm -hmm.